Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. I hope you all are having a fabulous day so far. 2021 is a great year because all of the sporting events that were supposed to occur last year are now taking place. And that means limited edition watches, of course. We've had a pretty rough year and a half with the you know, global shutdown, but now all of the events that were supposed to take place last year are now taking place. We just had the Euros, which was a really, really great tournament. Um, Switzerland did really well, which I was really happy about. Um, and uh, that was a pleasure to watch. And obviously the next thing that's sort of coming up and on people's mind is the Tokyo Olympics, the 2020 Olympic Games that is taking place in Tokyo. And of course, a watch brand released a, um, a, limit, a watch, not limited edition, which I was surprised about, but we'll get into that. They released a watch to commemorate um, the Tokyo Olympics, and that was Omega. Omega released the Seamaster Aquaterra for the Olympic uh, Games. And so I'm gonna just go over this watch, give you some details about it and give you my thoughts on it. I'll say at the beginning of this video, I do not have this watch with me. So if you are looking for a video that goes in depth and, and you're able to see this watch in the middle, that is not the video for you, but I'll be sure to put up pictures and videos of this watch so you can see it while I kind of talk through it. Um, so that's the plan for this video. So, like I said, this is a watch from Omega. It's the Aquaterra. This is sort of um, one of their Seamasters that they that they release. I find the Aquaterra to be maybe a little bit more kind of like the um, Rolex Datejust vibe, um, or maybe like an Air King vibe, but the Omega version of it. Um, what's pretty special about this, about this watch is it is in um, it is in gold, 18 karat gold. Um, and so it obviously is trying to resonate with the gold medals that the winners of the Olympic Games receives. Um, so it's a gold gold cased watch um, with a blue and uh, blue and light blue dial that almost looks like a checkered pattern. Um, this is the logo. This is in re relates to the logo of the Tokyo Games, and so it's really bringing out the sort of um, the logo for for the for the games. It comes on a blue leather strap. Um, and looks absolutely phenomenal. I have to say, blue watches kind of blew up a couple of years ago. People really loved them. And I think this is a really great example of it. I think green is the new one, but this is a really great example of that. Um, the watch comes in two different uh, versions. There's a 38 millimeter version and a 41 millimeter version. Um, you have apply a gold applied hour markers. You have a date at, at um, six o'clock, no Cyclops, date at six o'clock. And then you have um, an hours, minutes, and seconds hand. This, the minutes hand has a pointer at the end of it. So a very, very interesting, interesting piece uh, and a really beautiful one at that. I would personally go for the 38 millimeter um, just because I think smaller watches fit my wrist a little bit better. Um, one of the um, key things about this piece and was a little bit of a shock to be honest, was the fact that this is not a limited edition piece. This is actually, I believe in, in, in production, there, there's not a certain amount of these that are going to be created. So you can actually pick up the Seamaster Aquaterra Tokyo 2020 um, if you'd like. Um, the 38 millimeter is 17,800 and the 41 millimeter is 8,000, 18,500 US dollars. So you can buy these and really have, a, have fun at it. If you flip the watch over, you actually have a display case back which shows you the coaxial movement. It's the caliber 8801 in the 38 millimeter version and the caliber 8901 in the 41 millimeter version. Like I said, hours, minutes, seconds, and a date at six o'clock, automatic movement, um, and obviously you're getting a coaxial movement that's chronometer certified from Omega. Like I said, when you, when you flip the watch over, there is a display case back. What's really cool about this watch is it also has the Tokyo logo on that display case back and the Olympic rings below that. So it's definitely showing you that it is a commemorative piece. Um, what's really cool about this watch also is when you're looking at the back of it, the case back actually has four screws, one at each lug. And this is a little bit of a different uh, sort of look, especially with some of the watches that maybe you've been, you've been accustomed to seeing, but I really like it. It, it. it gives it the case back a little bit of a different feel. It says Aquaterra um, at the, on, the, on the gold piece of the case back and then tells you the water resistance as well gold um, crown with si that's signed by Omega um, and really is a, is a really great piece. This is um, not the first time that Omega has done limited edition pieces. They've done many in the past and obviously, or excuse me, they have done, this isn't the first time that Omega has done pieces for the Olympic Games um, and there are other um, companies who have also done um, commemorative pieces for, for the Olympic Games. 
I think the biggest thing with this watch is the fact that it's not limited edition. That basically means that it's part of their normal lineup of watches, which I think is quite unique, not something you're gonna see very often. Um, at, you know, 17, 18,000 US dollars, this is, um, this is an expensive piece for a, um, this is an expensive piece for, for, for anyone, but for a gold watch, you can actually probably find something maybe that relates to you a little bit more. However, I will say if you have a connection with the Olympic Games, um, this is probably a, a nice piece to, to go for. I, the way I kind of imagine it, and this is just me being imaginative here, is let's say you go to the Tokyo Olympics, or you go to the Tokyo Olympics, you know someone who participated in the Tokyo Olympics, you're an athlete who went to the Tokyo Olympics. This is a great way of commemorating that sort of involvement in the games. Um, and also maybe just commemorating the fact that this is the, the Olympics where it is not taking in is not taking place in the year that it is, that, that's in the title, you know, Tokyo 2020, but it's taking place in 2021. It's obviously gonna be trivia about that in the future, but I think this is kind of a cool, cool piece. I can imagine a hundred years from now, um, if, there, if we weren't keeping so, such good records of everything, someone would look at this piece and say, huh, the serial number dates to 2021, but um, on the back it says 2020, why is that the case? kind of an interesting little trivia piece for watch um, for watch lovers. But the likelihood of, of us not having this documented is fairly slim. Um, I think this piece will go pretty fast. It is expensive, so it's not gonna be like a stainless steel version where a lot of people have access to it. This is a different price range, but I do think there are gonna be a lot of these on people's wrists. Um, maybe some athletes, who knows? Um, but it's a really, really cool piece. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk through the Aquaterra uh, for the Tokyo Olympics. Um, like I said, beautiful piece, definitely check it out. Um, if you want to read more about this watch, be sure to head over to Life on the Wrist and you can go to the editorial section and find the article where we discuss this specific piece. Um, if you are new to Life on the Wrist, we do an editorial, an article, we post an article in the editorial section of our website for every single video we make. So if you want to read more about any of our videos, be sure to head over to our website. Um, I did say if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like these types of videos. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this watch. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for, uh, for us, it really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. With this said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time.